there is a man who is a widower. He has got four sons already. He is twelve years old and a pretty girl in in England. My grandmother. She is unmarried. How does he think that they can make a successful marriage together in a foreign land like India, completely unfamiliar to her? Similarly, for my grandmother, how could she think that a man like this would be preferable to somebody that she was engaged to get married in England? Young man, an army officer. Uske mukable mein this old balding man from Kashmir. What was his quality? And the qualities were twofold. One was his intellect, and the other was his honesty. And the third, let me tell you, is my interpretation of it. It was his overwhelming love for somebody or somebody, somebody who he felt would share his life. Because remember, in Kashmir of that time, if you could not choose your wife, he was already married once, and he had four children from that marriage. More, a couple, a couple of them died. This decision of his to get married to a foreigner, to an English lady. Meant that his father did not speak to him for nearly ten years. He faced that. Second, their courtship spanned six or seven years. There were no phone calls, and you know, the plane me bat ke pounja. You had to take a ship journey and go, and it would take you seven, uh, you know, three weeks, four weeks to reach, and so forth. And only because of the coincidence of the roundtable conferences, that they were able to meet. Over 1930 to 1933 or thereabouts, and then there was a hiatus because there was no conference after that. So they were not meeting; they were only some letters. And my grandmother's father said to her, "For God's sake, now, either you get married or you forget about it." So then he invited my grandmother to Kashmir in order to see Kashmir once and decide: "Can I stay here or can I not stay here?" And you know, it is again not that she came to stay in a hotel. He built a house for her in Kashmir, where we then later lived, bought some there, beautiful place. But remember, he he bought the land. It took one year for him to build a house. He is building a house to to accommodate with a with the first flush system in Kashmir to allow her to come inside here. And she may decide after a few weeks, "Hey, yar, yeh to this is not my life." She would go back. Then that house, that land, that flush system would be evidence in front of the world of your foolishness, and you know you are mat mari gayi apke you old man. You are looking after, wanting for a young girl, etc. Who are you? What have you done? Because that house, what can you do? You can't demolish that house. So he did that, and it is for my grandmother's credit also that she comes to India. She spent six months in India. That journey itself is a fascinating journey, which you will see in the book. And then she decides to get married to him. And then again they are dithering, but because it's such a decision to take, it is upsetting their whole lives. And then I think it is <coughs> the, the 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 monarch of England dies. Uh, he he abdicates, and you have a new King George being crowned. So they have one final meeting in London two years later. <laughs> He takes the Maharaja's permission. He is again invited to go there, and they get married in London after seven years of courtship. One has to actually see it from the audience point of view, and there I think uh, we have to translate what I knew and understood as a as a television host, shall we say? I mean, I had the uh, the benefit. Of communicating with large numbers of people over many years, and so I had some idea of what people want. So people want to know human people connect with people. They don't connect with uh, unless you are a historian or a researcher. Then you connect with the facts. Here yeah, people connect with people, so they must live. We must understand the reasons for it. So it's not good enough to say that he called. Uh, Sheikh Abdullah here, or you know, there. It, then he stopped Nehru at the border. It's a fact. We know it. What went behind it? What was he thinking? Was he was he even worried? <laughs>